Welcome back, everyone. Um, our last guest today is Dora Seke from Live and Love Jewelry, another amazing female Rhode Island jewelry designer and world traveler. Seems like jewelry is a traveling profession, I guess. <laughs> so um, Dora is a really interesting and awesome person, and I definitely want her to be able to tell you a little bit about her background and story. So Dora, without further ado, if you want to tell us a little bit about yourself before we dive into the products, that would be amazing. Sure. Um, so I. You know, of course, Rhode Islander, um, so I grew up here. Rhode Island is awesome, right? Everybody, yeah. All these people are from Rhode Island. <laughs> I know, it is a great state. Um, and I, I started doing jewelry when I was really young, so I was around like eight or nine years old. Uh, jewelry, to me, just has such an incredible significance to it. Um, in my family, like jewelry is always given as a gift. It's kind of like a symbol of love. Uh, which I always resonated and I loved that about it. And I just, I started doing it like when I was nine years old, there was someone who actually left, if you believe it, like a little box of like a kit um, at School of Visual Arts. My mom went to grad school there. And it was really interesting because I was just like, I started, you know, working, doing a few different uh, earrings and stuff and I just never stopped. So then I apprenticed with a silversmith when I was 13, Marianne Sherman, oh. who's an amazing Rhode Island jeweler as well. And she's was in Westerly. Um, and then I was global studies major, so it brings the ethical and ecological component to it from there. So that's why I care so much about sourcing. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about sourcing. So, I mean, if you go on Live and Love, you can read a lot about it, but this is a new um, topic for me. I've never really heard about um, ecological sourcing. So tell us a little bit about that and what that means. Yeah, so the environment, well, one of like, my tagline is because people and the earth matter. Um, so I think in a lot of ways, like jewelry has the ability to really change things for the better in an incredible way. And in that way, like so recycled being one part of it. So I use recycled metals, but I also, when I can, and my preference actually is Fairmind. So Fairmind is from Mining Cooperative. So that's the miners own their mine together. Um, there's no child labor. There's very like safety rules are in place. It's pretty incredible, and that was something that I was really interested in. And as a global studies major as well, I focus on like fair trade and different alternative economies. And I was just like, well, that would be incredible to be put towards metal. And I just was doing a lot of research, and that's right when that concept started, like fair trade, silver and gold. Gold primarily is the focus, and fair mind. And so that was really exciting. So I'm a big supporter of that. Um, and the silver that I sourced from is from a mine called Arelsa in Peru. And yes, I also have started actually sourcing gemstones from Cambodia recently. Wow. And what kind of gemstones? For so, di different types? and Yeah, so there's a lot of like different types. You know, every country has specific gemstones that um, it's known for as the highest quality. Like they do have aquamarine, um, but what they're really famous for is the zircon. So the Ratanikiri uh, zircon is like this really deep shade of blue I'm wearing one here. <laughs> um, Hold it up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, it just like it kind of has like that sapphire depth but a bit of like teal and that sparkle of a diamond which is incredible. Um, and that's what they're like really famous for. There's also topaz, amethyst, etc. And one of the great things about there is just the people are just so incredible. Um, and it was just such an amazing experience. And the last time I went, I was actually able to go to the mines themselves wow. and kind of see like the magic of that. Wow, so that's amazing. Metal work for so long, but wow. you know, seeing how like a gemstone comes from the earth all the way to the final product, it was just like magic for me. Yeah, so it was that, really exciting. And I saw on your website that actually the gemstones you have, you can create different designs for people, yeah. you know, based on the gemstone. So tell us about that. You know, can people contact you to get a custom gemstone? Absolutely. So I have a lot of really great resources, and not just for the ones from Cambodia, um, you know, even diamonds, etc. Like I've been to a couple of mines um, that I specifically know that, you know, they do things the right way. Um, so as far as getting like an ethical gemstone, that's very doable. And what I do with that, especially the ones from Cambodia, because they're all one of a kind, and they're such a rare stone, I only create custom pieces with it. So I want it to be a piece that you absolutely love and has like meaning to you um, and something that can be like handed down generation to generation. So I've been specializing lately actually in custom rings. Um, so I love doing it. So whether it be wedding or just, you know, a gift for yourself or someone you love. Awesome. And I, you have a great motto. I saw it on your website. So if you wouldn't mind letting the viewers know what your motto is and why, I would love to hear it from you. <laughs> um, yeah, well, 
the Because People and the Earth Matter, which I mentioned before. And so the component of having both the environmental aspect and that human rights aspect and those being in harmony together, I think is really important. It's very difficult to achieve. <laughs> um, so it's been a slow progress, like in my business, you know, being such a small business and, you know, like a one woman uh, little powerhouse. <laughs> um, it's, you know, slowly getting all of those materials and getting those components to get to my kind of goal of having everything. I would love to know the name of every single person that touched your piece from like the metal to the gemstones. And I have a few pieces that, um, you know, we're getting to that. And that's really exciting. It's very hard to do. There's a lot of travel involved, which is the exciting part, but yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm dying to take a look at some of the products. So walk me through some of the different designs that you have here that you brought today. Sure. So one of kind of my favorite, like I love statement pieces, as yep. you can tell. Yes, but, I, that is beautiful. <laughs> but one of my like concepts of statement is for it to be not overwhelming on you because yeah. you know you're such a beautiful person. Like I don't want to cover you, but still like you know confident statement. Um, so this is the, my branch necklace, and I oh, everything beautiful. is you know I do all the metal work myself, um, and this is just like an incredible piece on. Uh, and we also have, this is, you know, kind of a Rhode Island Oh, that's got gold thing. and silver so, in it. It's yeah, beautiful, yeah. So this is a wave necklace. And that's actually speaking a little bit about trends, like the three-tone metal here. Okay. So it has sterling silver and 14-karat gold fill, and then oxidize. Um, and then this is kind of more of a higher-end piece. There's also a Cambodian zircon on top here as well. It's beautiful. And so this is able to be customized. And tell me about the ones in the front here. Sure. Um, so this is just that an That is beautiful. Rings. Is that a set? Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. So, um, I call this one my Athena ring. Um, so she, I absolutely love cushion cut stones. And it can be customized. This one right here um, can be done like with aquamarine. I've been doing yellow sapphires on the side. But it's beautiful. But it can be done in any like, stone Are these size. the same stone as well, or this a little bit lighter? or? Um, that's the same stone as well. So that's awesome. like, I love unusual cuts. That's, it's beautiful stuff. And tell our viewers, how can we, how can we buy this stuff from you? <laughs> sure. Um, so my website, www.liveandlove.com. So L-I-V-A-N-D-L-O-V.com. So live and love without the ease. And, you know, I also have a studio and showroom in Westerly, Rhode Island, currently at 181 Main Street. Um, so awesome. that's another place you can come to. And I do different shows, and I also have been doing trunk shows a bit lately as well. So if that's something you are interested in, reach out. And you touched on trends a little bit, but I want to make sure before we close the show, tell me about some trends that you're seeing in jewelry right now and where the jewelry industry is going in your opinion. Obviously, we want to let our viewers know what they should be wearing and doing over the next few months. So I think a lot of statement earrings are becoming really popular right mm -hmm. now. Um, rings are, you know, stackable rings as well as just rings in general. So something that kind of like tells your story. Um, that's part of the reason I love doing the custom part so much too. Um, and, and, you know, there's something with mixed metals. Like oxidized silver is actually becoming really popular as well. Yeah. So that's kind of the blackened silver, yep. like what I have on my hand here. Um, Kind of my like medieval queen ring. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was great, great to have you on the show. And thank you so thank much you. for bringing your amazing products. And I want to thank the viewers for tuning in today. Tune in next week for another segment of Go Local Live with me, Chelsea Gay. Thanks a lot.